Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my monthly reset and spread for November. And y'all, this is my birthday month. Ooh, ooh, birthday month. So we are going to get right on into it. So we are going to start off with my monthly spread and we are going to go through everything here and then work our way sort of kind of out i don't know i have been looking for like all of my little like stickers and stuff and i really can't find like the other ones i just don't know where i would have put them so these might be a little dry this month but it's okay it's okay when i find them i can decorate them so first we're going to start off with our paydays so this is a three the extra paycheck month is what I should say. Um, actually, this needs to go here. And my husband gets paid every week. So these cream, these green paydays will represent the two days that there is no payday from me. And then I have some payday stickers of a hair. And... These are the days that income is going into the account. And as I'm putting these down, y'all, I totally forgot. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle. I'm a wife and a mother of one. And on here, I do all things cashless budgeting. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my journey to become debt-free, save, and do all of the things. So, yeah. So, um... Now that those paydays are down, um, I am going to have a vacation day. Because, y'all, this is my birthday, okay? This is my birthday. But I'm going to have a vacation day the day after because our job gives us our birthday off. But since my birthday is actually on a holiday, I'm going to take it the next day. I am hoping that we get to go home early this day. And I can kind of, ooh, sorry, y'all. Just like relax, but we'll see what they decide to do. I want to say last year we ended up leaving early um, this day on the 27th. So we'll see what happens. But it feels so far away. I have to like wait till like the end of the month. Do you know, your birthday is always at the end of the month, but it just feels so like long. Um, so anyways, now we're going to drop down our bills now as you can see the first is already filled but i do know that my gas bill is actually due on wednesday which is odd but i guess because it's a five paycheck month i mean or a longer month um and then my I'm going to put everything kind of on Saturday to kind of give me a little bit of room between all of the things, but my ADT is due on the 1st. Daycare will actually also be due on the 1st, but I'm going to put it over here. Our mortgage is due on the 1st, but I'm actually going to put that, I'm going to pay it on the 4th. I have until the 15th to pay for it without any late fees. Um, also, soccer can get paid on the 4th. Um, it automatically gets deducted off of our credit card, but I can go ahead and pay that at another time, just before, actually before the 5th. Um, Discover is due on the 8th, or I like putting them down here. I don't even know why I put them those up there, but... Utilities are ex our water, trash, and sewer, and like our exorbitant tax fees. So this is on the 10th, and electric is actually on the uh, due on the 11th. Um, so that's there. Um, YouTube TV went up on your girl and that is on the 23rd 
So we'll put that there. And then that is due on the 25th. And this is for our household. If you are new, me and my husband, we just put a certain amount of money into the household account. And then those monies pay for our bills, build up our savings and all of the things. This is going to be due here. So we'll put our water treatment there. And that is all of our bills for the month of November. Now, we are going to come over here because, like I said, I got to find my stickers. I don't know where they are. So this mo month, something important for me to do is to make sure I go and vote. Oh, this looks a little... Let's make sure. Okay, vote. Birthdays, of course, it's me, y'all. Me, me, me. And it's actually crazy because everybody I know seems like now their birthday is in November. I'm like, your birthday was never in November before. How was it in November this year? No, I'm kidding, y'all. But I do know quite a few people whose birthday is in November. Um, but anybody important? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, y'all. But no, there's a lot of people. I wouldn't be able to have enough space to write all of their birthdays. So... I'm going to just put everyone else and I will call them as their birthdays come about. Um, appointments this month. The only appointment that I know that I have is my dentist appointment. And that is on 11-12. So um, I'm getting my tooth like replaced. Does that make sense, y'all? I think it's an implant. I never really asked like too many questions. I just know they told me that I needed to have a tooth there because it would affect all my other teeth, especially my top ones, which I've done tons of research on and it, it, it is true. So I'm like, I, I never wanted to take out the tooth, but the tooth just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't working anymore. It wasn't working, y'all. So, um... I just was like, okay. So those are some of the things that I have going on for the month. So I'll probably be off just these two days. And then I'm going to take the rest of my vacation that I need to take. Uh, or maybe I'll do a random day. Ooh, sorry, y'all. A random day during the month. Um, Just to get like a random day off. We'll see what happens, y'all. But we are seven minutes into this thing, so let's get through these numbers. So now we're over here to like our monthly page. So I have three priorities that I want to work on this month. My goal is to pay off my last personal debt-ish because y'all know I still have my tooth that I'm paying off at zero interest and I'm just paying that to my dentist. But my last debt, y'all, my last debt, which is my small student loan. Stay tuned for my debt update because we looking good, we looking good, we looking good. Um, So, yeah, so we're going to see if we can do that. That would be like the most... No, that's not the word I want to use. That would be the best present to myself ever Um, is to become personally debt free. I don't want to do any unbudget spending because let me tell y'all in October, we went and bought a TV, okay? And I'm not, I don't regret the purchase even though we didn't have the money for it, but that puts everything else in to play for doing all the other things that I wanted to do. So that is like my last unbudget spending for the rest of the year. I'm going to hold myself to it. And then with that being said, I want to organize our playroom. So um, I wanted to hold on, you guys. Sorry, y'all. So back to what I was saying. So we're going to organize our playroom. So we have an extra room upstairs, which is baby girl's room. Now that there is a TV up there, I can now 
now that it's in the place that it needs to be, I can, we can get rid of the old TV and then I can organize that room so it's more functional for her. Because now whenever she wakes up, she doesn't actually come downstairs. She goes into the playroom and kind of hang out for like another hour. So I want it to function and work for her. And whenever we're up there with her, like we watch a lot of sports. It's really not like her watching just like TV, but at least we have something like playing in the background or whatever. I just love the background noise really so now it will function the way that I would want it to function and then down here is just a summary of my budget if you guys haven't already go and check out my November monthly budget um, but for income we are just budgeting the bare minimum which is $5,700 and then we have our debt which is our mortgage water treatment and discover right now for 244838 our fixed expenses at 174294 our spending accounts which is our cash as cash envelopes at 775 sinking funds and savings is budgeted at 444 and then our total is going to be $5,360.32 with a remaining of $339.68 and I'm just leaving that to see exactly what all of our like variable expenses come out to and then um, the rest of it will put towards savings. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry about the yawning. This is actually what happens to me whenever like I film at nighttime, which is what I'm currently doing. And then lastly, you guys, we're just going to talk about some of these tasks that I have for myself that I want to work on throughout the month. So as I'm doing this video, I want to say I'm like five days into eating clean for the first time all year and I mean clean clean y'all like no exceptions straight no sugar no carbs and I'm feeling awesome I am doing it the right way to where like I haven't had to have the keto flu and I've lost about three pounds already and it's only been technically a week so I am well on my way and I am going to keep that up so with that goal for the month of November my real goal is once again to lose five pounds and I think I can really do that um next is I know this sounds crazy y'all but I want to put up my Christmas tree um it normally goes up like right at um the end of November so right after like Thanksgiving since Thanksgiving is so late in the year it, it it would be time to go up I'm so ready for just like that that holiday season time I don't know people are just like different the atmosphere is different and I love it and now that baby girl's like older she can do like a little bit more like if we bake cookies or build a gingerbread house or something like she just can do more um, I want to actually learn a new dish, y'all, to add to my repertoire of healthy meals that I'm cooking. Um, I also need to make sure I put time aside, and I might actually do that on the 12th, just depending out on how much pain I'm in. Um, but I need to separately buy our Thanksgiving food. Um... One, I am going to celebrate my birthday, y'all. And yes, I really have to make that a task. If not, I'm going to go into mommy mode, wife mode, and trying to do all the things. I ain't doing nothing. The only thing that I'm doing on my birthday, y'all, because my husband does not do that, he will do everything else, is I am going to make my baked macaroni and cheese. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, and then I want to continue to practice discipline. I realize that in practice discipline, or oh, I don't think I spelled that right, y'all. Don't judge me. Um, but in practice and discipline, I realized that I wasn't disciplined in anything. And that's why I wasn't doing well in any of the aspects that I was tracking and now with me being disciplined in just eating the way that I'm supposed to eat, it is then following into everything else with my spending, 
um, how I'm prioritizing my time and thing like that, things like that. So I just want to make sure that I'm continuing to follow through with that in the month of November. And then lastly, um, I am going to try and start exercising three times a week. Um, this current week, I'm not exercising because I'm allowing my body to just go through the transition of eating healthy. So um, I am staying put with that. And then I did just want to show y'all this month, I did not print the Budget Moms worksheets because... I just wanted to do something different. I miss having it like this, I think, more so than anything else. And maybe I will just print one expense tracker to track my bills um, and then like any like unbudget or sinking funds. So we'll see how that all ends up working out. Because as y'all can see here, I do not have sinking funds on here this month either. So yeah. And then yeah, that, that's pretty much it, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.